Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. <laughs> anyway, we're doing mailbag day today. I think Fridays, when we get enough mail, Friday seems to be a good day for it. This was a contribution from my kids. So they wanted that in. Oh, and one other thing. The little girl. Do this one for me. To dad. I love you very much. I'm a lucky dad. Thank you, Ellie Bell. I appreciate it. All right, first one. First thing came from, came from, uh, from Brad. That is a sticker for Brad's workbench. Be sure to check out Brad's workbench. Love his channel, he's got some great stuff. They're trying to do a pallet challenge over there. I wanna do it. No one's been giving away any pallets. I need to drive around town and see if I can find some. And I figure, since I got that sticker, I might as well get out the other sticker that somebody gave me a while back. And that's for Geek Builders. I met him at uh, Maker Fair a couple years back, two or three years ago. Anyway, he's got a great channel. He's got some good stuff. So check him out. And uh, yeah, I know I'm drinking out of the, the tumbler. So this is gonna be stuff sent from viewers and stuff sent from China. At some point, I may just do a this all stuff from China blog. Some of it I've opened, some of it I've been using, but I just want to give you a heads up of some stuff that's going to be coming. I'm pretty open to anybody wanting to send me anything. If you want to send it, fine. I make no promises though what you're going to get from it, or if you're even going to get a video. And I, I, I let me make a, a, a separation here. For the viewers. I really appreciate when you send me stuff and I do always want to on air thank you very much because it's awesome. You guys are just amazing. Well, that last statement, that was for China and the Far East. Um, they, I'm constantly getting contacted by companies saying, hey, we want to send you something to have you test it. I'm like, fine, here's my address. Send it if you want. Some of them do, some of them don't. I do have people saying, fine, but we need you to do all these things and then we want review of the video. And I tell them, um, Something I can't say on air. And uh, I've even had one company that a lot of you probably know of, which is Banggood, tell me that they want me to, to, to qualify. Now they contacted me, I didn't reach out to them. They contacted me and asked me, hey, would you do this? But to do that, we need you to put links back to our main page on your latest uh, videos, not, not one, videos, plural. On your latest videos, there needs to be a link in the description back to us on the main page that's up in the in the header at the top you need to put a link to us over in the about section you need to put a link to us and that's so we can verify you because we've had people we've sent stuff to that weren't really the the, the channel i'm like you reached out to me on this channel and they reached out to me six months ago and this has been a back and forth email string for six months so and they say, if I do all this, they will then submit me for qualification. I'm like, you reached out to me. It took us six months to get to here. If I do this, it, basically what you're probably gonna do is drag this out for another six months to get free advertising out of it. I don't know how many YouTubers they've done that on. In fact, I'm planning to do an email, or not email, I'm planning to do a video all about them. But let's talk about this real quick. We're gonna do a video on this. This is, one of my first videos was something, on something called the side click which is a, uh, this is an Amazon Fire remote. And the side click would go on the side and it was a universal remote for your TV. So you could have all your TV functions and your side, or and your, your uh, Amazon remote all in one. This is a one, something called the sofa baton. I'm gonna do a full eval on it. And it basically adds it up to the top, making it one long thin, thin piece. It's interesting. Don't know if I'd say it's great, but it's interesting. I think for some of you out there, it probably is pretty cool. All right, let's get into, I wanna do the stuff that people sent me first before we get to the stuff that China sent me. So this is from, I think it's Trous. Pardon me if I, I'm not great at reading people's handwriting and I'm not great at pronouncing other people's names, but I think it's T-R-O-U-S uh, from uh, Oklahoma. And he sends us, he was gonna send, <laughs> I get this, I'm like, who sent me this? <laughs> it's a little tiny snap-on wrench. It's the most adorable thing ever. I, I want to give it a name and put a collar on it. It can fall around and stuff. Anyway, so 
we have been talking, but I was expecting something different from him, which is why I was surprised when I opened it up and I saw the snap-on because he said, I fixed the Matco problem, LOL. Have fun making some kind of quarter-inch video. Uh, is it Travis? Maybe Travis. That would make more sense than Travis. You see, I, I have my senior moments, and I'm not even completely senior yet. Anyway, he'd been having some issues with Matco and had been pretty frustrated with him and offered to send me his, uh, some of his Matco uh, ratchets. And apparently he fixed that, so he decided to send me this little snap-on one, which is, that's something to say. Even this little tiny one, this is a pretty little penny. Thank you so much. I gotta say, my kids have been, I've had to fight them off from this, but we're gonna have some fun. Maybe we'll do a, a battle of the uh, quarter-inch ratchets. I gotta... Uh, some uh, generic ones, and I've got a Harbor Freight one. If I can find another one to throw in the mix. Uh, I wonder if I have an s and I might have an s and Anyway, we'll figure out. We'll have a video about that coming up. All right. Now let's talk about China. So I've got this. This has been a long-term test for me. They sent me this uh, a month or two ago. I know they've been dying for me to review it. And it's, it's a power bank. And uh, as I said, I don't want to spoil the fun, but it does all sorts of neat stuff. It's got a flashlight and it'll do SOS. And it's got all these little power banks over here. This is really weird, but I'll tell you how that works. So we're gonna get around to doing this. I'm a big geek about these power bank things. I don't know what it is, but something about just unlimited power right there just really gets to me. All right, so this company, I gotta say, these guys went all out. If you saw my video about the Chinese off-road lights that I sent, or that they sent me a few months ago, I, I didn't have kind words about it. I practically nailed them to the wall over the build quality. And I've had since then, because as soon as you do a video on one topic, every other Chinese company wants you to do it. I did a video with the kids with a shock collar for the dog for training. We wouldn't put it on the dog. You can go back and find it, but the kids and I played around with it. They loved it so much. I literally get one email a week from somebody selling those things wanting me to review their, their dog shock collars. I'm like, no, that was fun once, but we're not doing it again. But these guys sent me more LED lights. Different, different style. I think these are pods. Yeah. They're, if you can see that, they're those things. But even better yet, this is just to test the thing they actually sent me. I'm pretty excited about this. And that is this thing. This is a control panel. It's that little thing there with this little brain box to control all your lights. If you're an off-road, you've got a Jeep covered with all sorts of lights and stuff. Take a gander at this. So these are little switches. Goes to this brain box here. You get a little wiring fuse thing down here. And it sends, they send you all these little sticker things that go on them. And, I mean, look at the cabling that comes with it. This is nice. This is, I wish they'd had some, when I had my CJ7, oh, I would have killed for something. I remember installing my KC highlights and having to run it and held together with glue and spit and who knows what else. But this is, this is, I'm looking forward. So <laughs> the wife, she's got the Jeep. It's, it's a little Jeep Renegade, but it's a Jeep. So it's getting all this stuff. So I, I put, I'm putting together a, uh, a rack to go on top because it didn't come with a roof rack. So we're going to be putting that together pretty soon. So I got a couple other items over here. We got that, which comes with this stuff. All right, this, a lot of guys have talked about these. Pardon me, it's, it's dirty. I had to sit down in the shop. This is a, do uh, you guys know what that is? Anybody? I know a lot of you're shouting out, I know what that is. That's a camera. This is the kind of thing you'd send down a pipe or a drain or up through a, through a hung ceiling or something trying to figure out. There's little lights on the end of that. I mean, let me see if I can turn it off. There's any juice in it. Oh, look at that. So the camera can actually see when it gets where it's going. Then it comes with a little charging cable and a bunch of different little heads you can put on it. So I have, so when they offered me this thing, I actually jumped at that one because I have uh, some uh, drain issues up at the house in Montana. So this is going to get some use, but we're going to do a test on it before then. But you're going to see it a couple times this year. 
And then, as I said, some people just send me stuff. They don't even ask. And they send it and I get a little note saying, please to review our product, you will. They sent me this. It's a Wi-Fi plug. I mean, it's cool that it has an antenna, but it's just something you plug in. I mean, whose laptop doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi these days? I guess I could plug it into a PC if I wanted to set up a PC and it didn't have Wi-Fi. Problem is, the PC case itself often blocks most of the Wi-Fi because you, you want to put that thing down and out of the way. I don't know. We might do... If you guys are interested in me doing a review on this, let me know. If not, I don't know. It's... I don't know why they sent it to me. I didn't ask them to send it to me, but they did. All right, let's see what else we got here. If you, hey, if you guys want to send something else to have it seen on the Den of Tools, send it to Redbeard LLC at 2251 North Rampart Boulevard, Suite 177, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89128. This is from Clone Alliance. Oh, wow. They get, these guys were on top of sending me. This is going to help with some of the stuff with the channel. This is the HD, HDML, HTML, Cloner Box Turbo. This is for capturing video signal and putting it on your computer. We can use this for video, for games. I guess that's mostly designed for them is like capturing games and recording and stuff. But it's also good for live streaming. So instead of using the silly webcams and stuff, we're going to be able to use some better cameras. So that's a good thing. And this feels like a bigger box. Let's see what China sent me this time. It's a box. They literally sent me a black box. I hope it doesn't have the Ebola in it. That would really suck if it had the Ebola. Alrighty. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of LED lights, I remember these guys. I, remember, I didn't know if they'd actually send it. I guess they did. Come on. Remember, always cut towards you. Oh, this is wild. So, come on. Out of the box. There we go. So these are pod lights. And when they sent these, I thought they were going to be just white. But they're RGB and you control them with your phone. <laughs> My wife's Jeep is going to look like a Christmas tree. So we got plenty of stuff to play with. I want to thank Travis again. Sorry about mangling your name. I'm, I'm a moron. I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. Thank you so much for this. This guys, we'll be back to you. Again, Brad's workbench. Be sure to check him out. Geek Builder, be sure to check him out. And uh, I'm going to try and do these as we get stuff in. I don't get enough stuff to do this as a weekly thing. But uh, I thought you'd be interested to see what people do send us. I, should, I thought there were some other things. And one last thing I want to talk about was this rig with this multimeter. Now, not the fan, but this thing right here. This is all 3D printed, custom made for one of these Harbor Freight multimeters. And it comes with this bracket. There's actually some lead shot in here to make this heavier so it doesn't bounce around. And you got a bracket right here where you can bolt it into things or you can take it off. I had uh, some magnets strapped to this before, I had it on my workbench, but it allows you to pivot it around, face whatever direction you want. So you can mount it, have it facing you, you can change the angle and stuff. And on top of that, I got set these flashlights, which normally come with a battery pack like this. You get three AAAs in it. But they 3D printed a battery replacement sleeve like this. So I think it's in this one.
So you can use one of these batteries. Maximum power, I don't know. Anyway, one of these. You see that compared to the AAA. These, these are fat little buggers. And so this just slides right into that, making this big enough to mate into there. And then when you slide this on, if you can, come on, there we go. Look at that. Now this has been, oh my gosh, these batteries last way longer. Now it's not as bright as the AAAs, but it will last three or four times longer. It's amazing how long those batteries last. And all this is, is a 3D printed sleeve with a, uh, a bolt going through it, or a screw going through it. You know, if you can see the inside there, bounce around there. Also, he made me a set of these hooks. I haven't found a use for the hooks yet. As you can see, I've been using the multimeter. I've been meaning to do a whole review on this a while ago, and I just got caught up with all these uh, Harbor Freight videos and stuff, trying to catch up with that, and then the holidays and everything, and it kind of slipped my mind. And now, since I started was gonna do the mail thing, he's one of the first people to send me something. And uh, just a, a, a great guy, and I'm really, I, my heartfelt apologies for not getting to this sooner. Anyway. That's all we got for you today. Thanks for stopping by and as we always say, shine on.